Welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Today's medication is called hydromorphone, and hydromorphone is most commonly known out in the EMS field and the medical field in general as Dilaudid. It does fall under the class of narcotic or opiate analgesics. Your mechanism of action is going to be very similar to that of morphine or fentanyl, which we've posted videos about here on this channel. It is an agonist of the opioid receptors. It disrupts the traditional pain pathways, and by doing this, we hope that this decreases the pain perception of the patient and just takes their pain away or lowers it. And it can also cause sedation. Your indications are going to be patients with moderate to severe pain. As always, before we get into your dosages, remember to always abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. So your dose for Dilaudid is going to be 0.5 to 2 milligrams slow IV or IO push until the desired effect is achieved. And Dilaudid is just not recommended at all for pediatrics. The same goes with Dilaudid as it does with morphine. Do not give if this is blood pressure is less than 100. Your contraindications are going to be hypotension, respiratory depression, hypovolemia, delirium tremens, severe asthma, and COPD. Your adverse reactions are nausea, vomiting, hypotension, altered mental status, apnea, bradycardia, CNS depression, sedation, and syncope. Okay, let's touch on the drug interactions for Dilaudid. Dilaudid can and will interact with benzodiazepines, other narcotics, sedatives, hypnotics, and and alcohol by increasing the central nervous system depression and hypotension that is already present because of whatever else is in their system. How it's supplied. In the EMS field, it typically comes in the two milligram and one ml vials, but there are different concentrations. Okay, a few side notes about Dilaudid. Dilaudid is a hydrogenated ketone of morphine sulfate. So if you're noticing a lot of similarities between this video and my morphine sulfate video, that's basically why. And if you haven't already seen that video, I'll link it up in the right hand corner, but just be aware that although they're very similar, hydromorphone is quite a bit stronger. It's actually seven times more potent than morphine sulfate, which is actually pretty astounding because morphine sulfate is a very strong narcotic. The half-life is typically between two and a half to six hours, but those with renal impairment, the half-life is up to 40 hours. It's a very, very strong narcotic, and that's why they say to use with caution in patients that are elderly or suffering from a head injury. It's always better to start off with a lower dose, but it's it's the same with renal impairment. You want to start off, start off lower. Be cautious in patients that have taken MAOI inhibitors within the previous two weeks. It could cause unpredictable and potentially fatal reactions, so just be aware of this. And also, last but not least, be aware that Dilaudid is highly addictive. So it is probably one of the most sought-after um, narcotics out there, and just the fact that it's seven times more potent than morphine sulfate definitely makes it a narcotic that people are looking for. As always, always, guys, remember to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of local protocol or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next Monday. Bye!